five so one place in the hometown. They have uh, they do um, they do uh, what do you call that? Like uh, fake uh, like a drill. Thing. Right. How fast what it's like to be in a bus fire, how fast the bus fills up with smoke. And you can't see anything and you gotta try to get the kids out. Right. And you only got three minutes. It's like a mock thing. They put a smoke bomb or something in the bus in there. You're in there trying to find your way out. It's really weird. Yeah, I know, I heard that. April tried to put it out with a fire or anything. But then it went back up. Oh yeah, that's what I, that's what Rhonda told me. I meant to ask her about that. I'm staying after school today, so I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna have a little bit of time to go by and ask her about it. Bus 12. Oh. So they were. So they were in that situation. They were on the bus with kids, weren't they? Yeah, but she didn't leave the school yet. That's the thing. She was still sitting at the school. Oh. And then it happened. That's what I was wondering. I couldn't tell by the. What they announced. What did they say to y'all? Huh? What were they saying? Like. No, I just heard the radio. Oh, over the phone. Yeah, I didn't hear anything else about it because they must have made phone calls. I didn't want anybody to hear it on the radio. They probably don't want to scare none of the kids that can hear the stuff over the radio. Yeah. You know, most kids were already scared because they had a that alarm go off and they had a, a tornado drill yesterday. The kids thought it was real. Oh, wow. Just because of the weird timing. Right. I guess. So I guess the kids is already scared. The elementary were doing that. The thing was going off, and then they get on a bus and catch a fire. Right. And I was like, you know, it's a coincidence how Kathy been driving that bus for a few years, and then all of a sudden she went to a short bus, right? And then yesterday when she was driving, uh, when they were pulling the bus back to the yard, she was right behind it in her bus. So I was like, hmm, <laughs> maybe somehow she knew this was going to happen. <laughs> maybe she knew all about that bus. But I'm just glad it wasn't worse than it would have was. Because you know that's oh, my favorite God. bus. And the kids. Cool? But yeah, that's my favorite bus. And I, that would have been sad if that was totally. Burn off? Yeah. That would have been real sad if it was burn off. Especially because we need that bus. We need any bus we can get right now. Yeah. That bus is, uh, well, I don't even know what they cost. I think, I don't even know what bus cost. I know they cost a lot. Oh, they cost a lot. I think a brand new is like 200000 something like that. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, to find out, let me know. Like, I was so surprised when the district bought those two bluebirds last year. I was too. Miss McNelly wants to get her district back. Oh, I don't blame her. And I'm hoping we do get it back. I ain't too happy with the place. They you ruined my whole what? retirement. You said what? So I'm not too happy with my school they ruined my whole retirement. Right. Because Rhonda was talking to me about it. She said that it like pauses and like you have to work for a district, like a actual Michigan district for another few years before you can get your retirement back. Yeah, then you would, uh, you'd have to, you know, go to a different, that, that. You never know what the pay scale is or anything. Right. Yeah, you could, I could have done this. I don't really land much land. 
Belleville. Belleville's still, uh, they're not, what do you call that? Contracted. They're not outsourced. Yeah. People that never outsourced. Mom was just had to do it. I mean, I don't blame them, but then at the same time, it's like... Well, it was just management of the money. Right. It was all moved way back. This management. They had people coming up there. They had big shots coming up there and making people wash their personal cars. And they were doing a lot of bad stuff. That's a shame. We paid for it, the little people. Lost their retirement. Lost retirement health care, that's the worst. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Now it's going to cost them. all the retirees like at least 300 penny if they're getting this policy in there. Right. I mean, health insurance is expensive. Other pensions. Off and then um, how dirty they did uh, Lee Varga and oh, Nancy Daniels. Lee, they moved out because they didn't get food and didn't back her. Right. Which wasn't right. They could have gave her. <coughs> they could have gave her an office job or they could have yeah. gave put her in therapy or something to try and help her back. Right. And they didn't try. That they was just bold. That was really bold. I couldn't believe it. And then she said because of that, she even if we go back to Romulus, she's never coming back. She's oh. never coming back to drive. Oh, I don't blame her. I don't either. Then too, I don't think she's ever moving back here either because she lives in um, uh, Allen Park, I think. Something like that. Now. Yeah. She was in training to do something at the time, wasn't she? Uh, I think she was trying to be a nurse or something. Something like that. She's trying to be a little bit early so everybody didn't get soaked in wet. I think I'm missing everybody. Yeah, I don't know what to think about it. I just take it day by day. I don't mind Durham at all. They pay good. They do have a, they have a crappy health plan. Mm -hmm. They got a good 401k plan. They got a good retirement plan. And they seem pretty laid back. Uh, they got to work for an outsourcing company. They're not a bad one at all. Yeah, that's what I was, that's how, the way I always think of it. That for it to be outsourced, they're not bad. No, but. no. They're all friendly. And it's a huge company. National right, yep. Express. They actually run out of the UK. Peterson and National Express. And the other nice thing about it is you can get a job. If you go on their website, W18, they have um, National Express. They have a whole bunch of jobs everywhere in the country. So you can actually get transferred if you don't want to stay in Michigan. Right. Well, I must be early, which I like about it. If I ever leave south, or it's warm. We can go anywhere. Right. Tennessee. I mean, there were so many places. Texas. South Carolina. That's the only thing though. Contractors are just they're taking over everything. They're trying to take over everywhere. Yeah, they are. They are because everybody uh, mismanaged money. Somebody put it all in their pockets. Mm-hmm. It's going to be an interesting next summer. Let's see what happens.
They say they have had growth. It's just it took a long time to get over. We have had growth. Job growth. I noticed the gas prices have been down for four years. Oh yeah. It used to be like five dollars a gallon, nobody could afford to go to work. You know? Mm -hmm. Gas prices are way down. Unbelievable. So nice. There's a lot of, I think there's a lot of change. about what she did, how she retired from Romulus and then came back to Durham. Yes. And the weird part about it, the words I don't like, was they have been taking money on every paycheck before Durham took over for uh, retirement health care. Uh -huh. Nobody ever got that money back. Wow. There's a lot of money. Right. It's gone. And then Rhonda says, well... Anybody who took the job with Durham lost that money. And I said, why? They should have passed, because they had a class action lawsuit against the um, state. Uh, whoever was, I guess it would have been the state, taking that money out. We, we never, they never gave us a check back for it because they they, uh, you know, they outsourced. Right. We lost that. And they never gave anyone any of their money. But they never used it. They gave everybody their money back. What Rhonda told me is Rhonda said that they were just holding it. I don't know if that's true. They were holding it until, like, if we go back to Romulus, then we work for a few more years, get it back. Or if you go back to another... Um, district owned or state owned or district owned yeah it was right the first time well, where do you get it back then you just don't I mean, get it back send a letter or something right well, is that what you said you just don't get it back
now you never is. Why does it only happen when we get down this road? That is weird. Huh? Why does it only happen when we get down this road? The air. Because that's what it on um, uh, Monday. Yeah. Or Tuesday. He thinks this is bad wire. When I hit a bump, it might get wire behind this gate. Because they looked at it. Because uh, I got a food leak. I told him about it. drivers, the drivers that, some of the drivers that care. Right. Sandy, Varga, a whole bunch of others I can't think of off the top of my mind. Harry, Joanne, she's never coming back. She said she probably is never coming back. And she said she moved. She was gonna. Uh, she was moving up north. She moved up north. Yep. But she comes down here a lot. She down here <coughs> right now. Her husband had a surgery. She wanted to sub drive, but uh, somebody took her off the books. Hmm. Ain't that interesting? Yeah. We never get away from this place. But yeah, she's not gonna now. They took her off the boat, so she has to go pre test. She ain't go yeah, that's doing too much. No matter how hard they try, they never have enough drivers. Right. They have a lot of jobs. You
part time and still go to college. I told myself I would never work for Durham. Huh? I said I told myself I would never work for Durham because they came in and ruined this place. They're not a big company. I mean, they're not bad, but still, they kind of they did mess us up. Like they couldn't help the promise to the school if they wanted to do this. Mess. You said what? It's not their fault, really. Though. Yeah, it's not, but somebody's got to take the job, right? Yeah. It, it's, 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 it's the state. State, state's the one that did it. Our governor. I gotta say, I like everybody. I like the like group a lot. Oh, yeah, I liked him too. But believe it or not, this new Ken guy is really nice. That's what I've seen him. He was out with uh, Mark looking at 12. I was gonna stop and say something to Mark, like ask him what happened, but I didn't wanna. They told me to give him some time, to give the boss some time, not uh, talk to him or do anything to him yet. Yeah, he introduced himself, and uh, my sister was my talking to him, Lisa, and he was back in her 100%. That's good. He's real happy with him. She had an emergency surgery, and Stephanie and them told her she couldn't take off. Lisa did. Wow. Yeah. She got really upset with her daughter emergency surgery and Ken told her, you take off. You have my permission to take off. We'll take care of it. But he seems um, like he's going to be a really good boss. He just doesn't, we haven't really got to know him because we haven't had any big meetings. Right. He introduced himself the other day. Short meeting. It sounds like he 